This month's Pay It Forward takes us to Hayes CISD, a small school district that's big on community. KVU Zavon Nava introduces us to the educator and mom behind their clothes closet. And right here is our little girl's room. Just off FM 150 in Kyle. We have girl and boy shoes. Right next to Simon Middle School. We have a professional room. It's this unassuming building that's become. We have our boys pants. Esperanza Orozco's second home. We also have uniforms. The clothes closet is a labor of love that began in 2010. Back when I was a teacher in the district, I saw that most students needed coats and shoes. I worked in a low socioeconomic school, so there is a great need. Esperanza would collect clothes in her Camino Real elementary school classroom. And I would put it out and families would come after school to come pick out clothes for their kiddos. More than a decade later, what started off as a small monthly service has grown district wide. Thanks to the support of leaders like Hayes CISD Superintendent Dr. Eric Wright. He encouraged it and a month later it was up and running and we were in two little portables. Now they've expanded to a 3,700 square foot space that resembles more of a department store. So we have our bags right here. Esperanza doesn't get paid to run this place full time, but she happily does it with help from students like Madison Gallegos. I try to come on the weekends around like a, I think it's 12 to 1. As an educator, mom, and now school board president, Esperanza believes every student should be given an opportunity to succeed, no matter their background or circumstance. You cannot succeed academically when your belly's empty. You can't succeed academically when you don't have appropriate clothing and you're cold or you're embarrassed. It is so important for us to remove those barriers and then our kids have a chance. Esperanza, you're helping so many families and you're helping so many students. So on behalf of KVU and Charles Montoyota, we want to award you with $1,000 for paying it forward. You know, we can buy some cereal. We already have the food list on my head and socks and underwear. It's wonderful. Thank you so much. Since the start of the pandemic, the clothes closet has assisted more than 1,300 families with food. Since August, 500 students have received clothes. Outside their office, you'll also find this Little Hope food box filled with food available 24-7. Esperanza is humbled by her reward, but credits the people of Hayes County for their kindness. We have the most generous community. We rely on our community to contribute and donate all the food. They donate all the clothes. They donate everything. Yvonne Nava, KVU News. Esperanza and the Hayes County community stepping up. I love to see it. Well, since the pandemic started nearly a year ago, Esperanza says they've also been delivering food to 20 to 40 Hayes County families a week. If you'd like to help donate, go to this story on kv.com links.